What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This will be the definitive, ultimate, most in-depth guide to the quest, a shooter born in heaven on the map customs. It's going to be very in-depth. I'm going to show you the best spots, spots that are okay, uh, spots that are you should check as you're passing by, counter sniping spots. Um, I'm also going to go over some general tips about completing this quest on the map customs this is going to be an in-depth video so i'm only going to focus on one map and depending on the success of this video i will do uh guides on the other maps so this map will just be customs i'm also going to show you how i completed this quest the last two wipes i feel like a lot of other streamer guides uh just say hey go to the spot and, and shoot a guy and i i feel like this quest deserves a more in-depth look uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate your your time uh, clicking on this video. If you could please leave a like and maybe subscribe, but uh, we're gonna jump right into the general tips. You probably clicked on this video to see the actual physical locations, so I will put a timestamp on the screen and a, a timestamp in the description. So if you want to just jump into uh, me in game showing you the locations, you can skip right ahead. So let's get into these general tips. So before we jump in game and show you the physical locations, uh, I want to talk about uh, going in the customs night versus day. I like going at night. I usually bring a thermal anyway. Uh, nighttime obviously uh, conceals you because people can't see you from far away. And also at nighttime, if you're in a position and you're firing at somebody repeatedly and you're not really moving too much, most people at night aren't going to go uh, looking for you for a PVP fight. They're mostly just doing quests and uh, just trying to make money. So they're not gonna bother you. During the day, uh, people are chatted up. They're probably gonna try to find you and kill you because they're like, oh, this guy's just sitting in a spot sniping. I, could, I can take him out. So I highly recommend going at night. Now, if you go at night, obviously you're gonna need a thermal. I will say if you go at night and you go to some uh, games and you're not finding a lot of people, uh, you might have to go during the day because, uh, you know, night raids aren't as popular as uh, day raids. But customs are very popular map. Uh, you shouldn't run into that problem too much. But if you go during the day, you're definitely going to get a, a lot more chances, I would say, to, to get this 100 meter headshot. So um, now that our tips are done, we are going to jump in to a game. All right, we're in. So we are on the big red side that's crossroads that is trailer park i'm going to put a map on the screen i'm going to split the map up into four sections just so if you want to go back and uh check out a certain uh, part of the map you can easily get to it i'll have the timestamps in the description big red side will be section one section two will be dorms section three will be the new expansion and section four will be the boiler side of the map so first real good spot here is when you spawn here so there's a spawn here um when you spawn in run over here quickly uh, i don't want to extract but um you want to kind of get into this corner because you want to create as much a distance as you can and you're trying to hit the guy that spawned in trailer park you're probably gonna have a better shot seeing him with the thermal because of the bushes there um and this is only going to work for the thir first 30 seconds you load in and you're hoping that that guy uh, during load in was, you know, went and took a shit or went to get some food or maybe he's pre medding or uh, I don't know. He's looking at his kit. He's loading mags. I don't know. You're hoping you might catch a guy standing there and you can take him out. They're never expecting it. Um, that is something that works. I'm going to show you this spot right here. So um, if you spawn back here, it's pretty much a lost cause. Uh, it's tough. You're fighting an uphill battle to get across the map and it's tough to get into those uh, sniper positions. So um, this is a good spot to go into if you think you're just not going to have a good raid and camp this door. Um, a lot of low level, low level players go here. Uh, hatchlings maybe so they won't be wearing a helmet. Uh, it's a pretty satisfying shot to take. You will only have one or two seconds while they're opening the door to get that uh headshot but it's a spot not many people know about pretty good i want to show you this spot here um if you spawn in here at trailer park you'll spawn in right here 
it's not a bad idea to come back here and there's a spawn over there i believe it's railroad to tarkov it's officially labeled and sometimes that guy is going to come over here to either try to fight you or he's moving in the big red so again you want to create as much distance as you can so go all the way against the wall and um it's going to be close on the 100 meter headshot obviously the closer they get the harder it's going to be but uh this is uh, an opportunity to get a 100 meter headshot so before we get to the water the spots kind of fall into four categories uh number one are really good spots where you can um you know sit in for a long time and get a lot of traffic category two would be like uh spots to check as you're passing by uh number three would be they are capable of getting a 100 meter headshot but they're not really good spots to be in and then number four would be our counter sniping spots and i'll get into what a counter sniping spot is in a uh soon so um this is a spot here that would be like not necessarily a good spot um you know the traffic isn't too high but you could catch um one or two people in this area um it's just not good because that's a high traffic area there's scavs that spawn in here uh so it's not the best position this is also a counter sniping spot i'm going to show you um these spots next so like you can go on top of this uh bus stop here really good spot you can counter snipe someone from here um and also the next spot i'm going to show you is right over here on this ledge and you can counter snipe someone possibly get the 100 meter headshot so that's why i'd like to show it to you all right so we're at the bridge that goes over the water i want to show you this spot i don't ever see anyone using it and it's a pretty decent spot um you're probably going to want to use it at night because you're going to be really exposed trying to do it during the day but you just jump on like that it's a little tricky you don't need to sprint jump just uh you do need to stand back here and w it and then jump on uh but i mean you can see over here but the the main uh reason for showing you this is you can uh get a good shot on the uh smuggler boat extract here um again you want to create as much distance as you can just to guarantee that 100 meter headshot but uh this is just an opportunity uh to get it so obviously works would work a lot better at night than during the day really exposed being up there um as you're passing over the bridge always take a look to your right sometimes you'll get people uh crossing over the land bridge uh again you want to create as much distance as you can but that is going to be a 100 meter headshot um also sometimes i catch people uh doing weird stuff over here looting that uh weapon box over here remember create distance get you that 100 meter headshot and that's not something to camp that's just uh you know something to check as you are going by so this is on my top three best spots on the map right here so on this ledge here you're pretty much uh golden on getting a 100 meter headshot over here so uh, ideally you're gonna want to spawn here and try to get here or you want to spawn there tarkov to port i believe it's called on the map uh to get here and uh you know you're gonna catch people early game running across the bridges and um it's easy picking from here um another really good spot i like this spot a lot more than this uh, uh concrete stone spot here don't break your legs okay so this is also on my top three best spots on getting this quest done and i i would put this one ahead of that one because it gives you more opportunity to get the 100 meter headshot so um this is the little bus stop you climb up on the light pole you go prone now you have 100 meter headshot capabilities all the way through here as with the concrete ledge over there 
I don't know if you can really see it right there. Um, you can only pretty much get the 100 meter headshot over here. So I'm going to put some clips on the screen now of me completing the quest um, in this spot. So as you saw in the video, those guys, they came across um, here and I just got lucky. One guy just stopped for some reason. Maybe he had a thermal and he saw me and he was lining up a shot. I don't know, but I took advantage of it, took him out. Um, the other one I wasn't able to record player was running along the train here and I was able to see him running and I was like, all right, so I lined up my shot. Put my crosshair where his head would be and as he came by boom shot him so so last wipe two of my shots came from this location now also it's a really far shot but you can catch people in the big red office here so if they're actually like looting the duffel and the computers and stuff their head um is usually in the window um same thing with the safe over here so good opportunity to uh get your 100 meter headshot people aren't expecting you to uh shoot them through the window so um it is an opportunity and also if you're in this position make sure you're in prone so because if you're standing obviously you're going to be a lot more noticeable but if you prone rarely anybody will know you're here um and I should note that if you hear someone shooting from here, it is also a counter sniping spot. If you can get into upstairs of Big Red and look across over here, uh, you can counter snipe this spot. You can also counter snipe this spot from uh, on top of the train, as I showed you before, or, you know, you know, from the front of the bridge here. So that's pretty much it for section one. I'm going to head into section two now, which is dorms and the construction area. Big, big area. All right. We are in section two. So we're in the construction area. Um, these spots are going to fall under. Yeah, you can get a hundred meter headshot here, but they are uh, not the ideal positions. So up here. Obviously, you can get a 100 meter headshot, but this is just a scav nest. There are uh, sniper scav there, sniper scav there. There's scavs roaming all through here. PMCs roll through here. You're very exposed. Anybody that looks in this direction is going to see your silhouette. And you pretty much can only get the 100 meter headshot over here. I mean, I guess you could get it here. You'd be extremely lucky to find a guy just hanging out there. But, um,. Why go up here and expose yourself to all this combat when you could just go to the concrete slab over there or to the bus stop over there? So not the most ideal position, but I mean, it is possible to get a hundred meter headshot. You probably catch people going over the smugglers, but worth noting, but not a great spot. All right, we're moving on. To the next construction building same premise can you get a 100 meter headshot here yes is it a great spot not really you're probably not going to catch anyone here 100 meters you're probably not going to catch anyone here 100 meters if you want to try to counter snipe somebody well, it wouldn't be counter snipe. if you want to try to shoot somebody who's maybe on the turret um you know that's a thing maybe you're really not going to get anybody over there if you're going to utilize a spot, you're probably just going to want to be watching dorms with a thermal because you will, uh, you know, you have a good shot at the platform here. Once in a while, somebody sits in this window. Um, 
you know, trying to look for people. So that's a thing. I've seen people out the window, um, you know, hanging out the window, leaning, looking this way. But overall, not the greatest spot, but it is, um, I guess, a spot if, if you if you so incline. But there's so many better spots. I wouldn't worry about this one. All right. So for reference, there's dorms. I want to show you this little hill here. This is, I would consider a counter sniping spot. You know, as you're passing through, I want you to, when you go on this hill to check, um, the concrete slab. Now I've, I found on a few occasions, I've heard people sniping. I come up on this hill and it's kind of hard to see with the fog, Tarkov weather. Um, let's try this. There you go. There's a concrete slab. I've caught people, you know, sitting on the concrete slab and it's a far shot. I think it's, it's well, I think it's over 200 definitely. Um, but you can counter snipe someone from up here. I'll uh, possibly get yourself a hundred meter headshot. Another note over here. Um, it might be tough to get the hundred meters, but you can, uh, where is it? You can camp the entrance of two stories. So if you know someone's in there and they're going to come out, I don't know if that'd be a hundred meters. It'd be really close. Um, but you'd have to be quick, like literally see them and pop them. So just want to mention that. It's a underrated spot. People don't really uh, know you can snipe from this falls into my top three best spots on this map. Um, it's a good overlook of dorms. This works especially well. If you get the uh, spawn by the electrical tower over there that has the cache on the other side of the fence, you know, the, the closest spawn to dorms that everybody likes to get. Or if you spawn like kind of my old gas station, you can go through the factory doors and get here pretty quick. Early game, you're almost always going to catch someone coming up the stairs here. And I'm using the thermal because the fog is getting foggy and annoying. Um, but you can, uh, you're really hoping that someone's going to crouch walk up the stairs or they stop on the stairs because they hear something. Or you have that split second when they open the door to take the shot. But um, good opportunity here. Um, really like the thermal. Actually, let me show you the two clips of me getting uh, kills here. All right, so as you can see from the clips, um, you get a good look at, so this is marked room right here, and this is the door to go outside to like that platform. So, you know, with the thermals, great, because you can see them running through at least. Um, also, there's jackets in here. Sometimes you, you can catch someone here. Um, in, in, the, in the clip, I was already shooting at this guy because uh, he came through the door and I went boom and I missed. Um, so he repositioned to another window to find me and I was able to pop him. It's if you look in, if you go into dorms and you look over here, it's really hard to see somebody, um, especially if you're prone, which is how I really like to utilize this position. Um, so there's the door. Sometimes if they're fighting down the hallway, people use this little um, area to the door as cover you can catch somebody and then as you saw in the clip i caught somebody going for that weapon crate that's on the platform 
and I was able to pull off a headshot. So, um, really good spot here. Really good spot. You're pretty much only going to get somebody in the windows through the door there on the platform or on the stairs, um, as your hundred meter headshots. The next spot I'm going to show you really underrated. Now it's not as good now that they added the expansion. But um, watching this road is really good. Um, that's a gas station. During the day, you're pretty exposed. So this is definitely more of an at night um, spot. But, you know, you I mean, you couldn't ca try to catch somebody up there, but you're really just watching the road. Um, let me show you a clip um, of a kill I got this wipe. So, so this wipe, I got my hundred meter headshots, one here, and then the two at dorms last wipe. I got two on the bus stop thing over there and I have one more clip to show you, but, um, really good spot here. Um, like I said, since the expansion, people aren't forced through here, so it's not as good, but, uh, worth a look at night. I think definitely now. I would say if I had a top four, I would put this spot in in my top four. It's a pretty good spot, but you don't catch a lot of people um, just uh, sitting around. So it's this little. I don't know. It's not a mountain, but this little. Uh, hill that overlooks the gas station. Obviously, you're not going to get a 100 meter headshot there, but you're mostly looking back here. So now um that's a snipe a counter sniping location to that which i haven't gone over yet um counter sniping location to that that you got people walking through here especially early game they're going um to this the factory doors here um you catch people in there you can catch people moving across here a lot of opportunity it's just there's a lot of people moving um with a thermal if you have a thermal equipped you can get a good look here get a 100 meter headshot you can uh try to get somebody loot in that cache there um and let's roll the clip of uh my 100 meter headshot at this spot So there's a cache. There's a cache here. Where's the bush? All right there. So there's a cache in there. So you might catch somebody uh, trying to loot that. So again, you got to create distance and get the hundred meter headshot. Um, in the clip, there's just a guy who was coming across along the wall here, and it was a hundred meters. So really good spot. Um, you, you know, there's. You can get creative. You can look over here as well. Try to see someone come through there. Um, a lot of opportunity uh, to get a hundred meter headshot here. This would definitely make my top four. We're in section four right now. Uh, we're moving to section four just because it's closer. Um, there's not too many good spots here in section four. They're mostly counter sniping spots. So this spot's pretty good um, in counter sniping people that are on the hill here. 
So, you know, you'll go prone and get people on the hill here. That's a really good opportunity. Um, you can try to uh, get somebody uh, moving through here, but they're usually moving pretty fast. And if you're on this spot, you're pretty much watching up there. You're not going to be sitting here. Just got to watch out a lot of scav spawn here. So I will mention this spot um, only because it creates some distance to possibly get a hundred meter headshot. Now the new locations in the expansion, I should mention, um, they're not like tried and true yet. Like the expansion hasn't been put through a full wipe yet. So it's hard to really know if, um, you know, what spots are going to be great. Like what spots are going to produce the most traffic. So here, um, if you got somebody moving along here, you know, maybe they spawn over there and they're moving down here for whatever reason. Um, this window is probably actually better over here. So, um, opportunity to get a hundred meter headshot, not the greatest spot to just sit here and wait, but, uh, you know, it is an opportunity. All right. So we're at warehouse four here. Now this is pretty much just counter sniping. Um, you're, you're pretty much trying to wait for somebody to come across the, uh, the hill over here. So there's your gas station and you're kind of just counter sniping people on the hill. Um, it's a little safer position than the, uh, position over there. Um, you can also go over here. I see people do weird parkour stuff to get up here, but kind of just sprint and jump on the forklift and you can uh, another counter sniping spot to get people on the hill there. Um, and you got this little spot up here. You can prone. I like the other spots better, but um, it creates more distance. If you want a farther shot, um, it's kind of hard to see like over there but it is a thing last spot for section four. Now this overlooks the expansion. Like I said, the expansion has not been put through a full wipe. To, so to really know um, what people are going to do and where the high traffic areas are going to be, um, you can try to get um, people in this uh, middle building here in the expansion. And then if you go to this side over here, um, you could try to catch people moving along this wall here. Um, I do it when I'm kind of ratting, like I loot that building there and, uh, there's a cache under the train over here. Um, I wouldn't say these spots are tried and true yet, but, uh, they are our spots. Um, you know, the crackhead house. You can try to catch people moving along there. Um, but they're probably gonna be tough spots. There is a cache right here by the tree. So, um, that can make a, a shot a little easier, but that's pretty much it for section four. Actually, I do got one more. So we just left warehouse four right there. Um, you can sit prone here. Well, you don't even have to sit prone. You can stand and it's going to work better if you have a thermal. You can catch people. So it pretty much because there's a spawn right here now. Um, come here real quick. You can catch people that spawn there moving this way. You know, coming up over that ramp. Um, I wouldn't say this is a horrible spot, but it's a spot you should know about. And that's pretty that's that's it for section four. All right, we are in section three, the new expansion uh, section of customs. Unfortunately, there's only two spots you can really get the 100 meter headshot. 
and there it's there's only one that's really worth using so here we're in the middle building where the zb 1013 extract is in the basement this is kind of like the other construction buildings um you're really exposed highly recommend not uh sniping from up here but um if you create enough distance you might be able to get somebody in that corner there coming out of that building there um you know if you're lucky you might get somebody pushing through here uh not really a good spot you know your best bet if you're trying to use this spot is to get somebody coming across the wall here um so this is you kind of you enter over here um from the ruaf extract and some people hang uh, along the wall here um yes you can get 100 meter headshot this is more of a counter sniping position if you uh you know someone's uh sniping from crack house you can uh take him out here so i would classify this as a counter sniping position not a position that you would want to uh sit and wait for people and real quick what i meant from like getting somebody in the section over here they can come out of this door here and sometimes they'll hug along this wall uh you create enough distance you might get a 100 meter headshot out of that again don't like that area for for you know hanging around and sniping this crack house here is probably your best spot in section three aka the new expansion um note you can um if you hear fighting because there's a lot of scavs there you have the potential to get a shot off over here um you know maybe he kills a scav and he's looting the scav good opportunity there other than that there's a little med room here um create distance you can uh get somebody maybe they're fighting scav boss you can uh catch somebody off guard and shoot them from here and you can also catch people running you know moving across from over there from uh construction and the last thing i want to show you about crack house is a counter sniping position if you hear someone sniping on this bus stop area which i showed you earlier you can uh you can take the guy out here and that's it that is the end of the in-depth custom guide to a shooter born in heaven remember we're focusing on 100 meter headshots um i hope you enjoyed the video if you made it this long uh please drop a like leave a comment say hey i made it this long um you know give me your feedback i really appreciate your time i really hope this helped and uh hopefully i'll see you in the next video